So this is from Taste of Home Magazine, and we have, uh, and we're going to be making slow cooked Caribbean or Caribbean pot roast. Which is it? What are the other? You pick. Caribbean, Caribbean. I, th okay. I think in the Caribbean they call it. They say Caribbean. Caribbean. Well, All what right. do they put in? Tomato or tomato sauce? Okay. Well, well you know what? We can ask Jen Tidwell because she is on the phone, and she, I mean, and on Skype, and there she is, and she Hi. joins us from Fair Oaks, California, and this is her recipe. So, Jen, how did you come up with this recipe? Well, you know, I'm a huge fan of taking classic dishes and just kind of putting my own spin on it um, to suit my family's taste buds. Um, I, you know, I have a little, a little girl I cook for, a couple girls, but one's a baby, so she's not quite there yet. Um, but we like to, what I call, travel through our taste buds. Oh, so, for example, oh, with this like dish, that. we travel to the Caribbean. This it's Caribbean, there it is. There it there is. is. Caribbean, it's not Caribbean, Caribbean. it's Caribbean. All right, Caribbean. Okay. Caribbean. All right. I was waiting for As it. As Mark said, tomato, tomato. Uh, <laughs> but uh, now, Jen, you also chose to use chuck roast as the meat, and why did you do that? You know, it's usually not too expensive of a uh, cut of meat, and it's just easy to work with. It breaks down real well. Yeah. Um, I also really like using a cast iron skillet. It just, when you use that, it gives a really nice crust. Right. Meat. That actually seals in all those flavorful juices. Good. And and the longer it cooks, the tenderer -er -er. is tenderer -er -er. <laughs> word. Yeah, it gets. Well, this is basically a very simple recipe that looks like a lot of ingredients there, but it's basically a dump recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our uh, sweet potatoes and carrots and some celery. Just yeah. that's very in the ice. Yeah, yeah, that's all you do. That's all you do. Right? So in a large Haley's skillet, like I got yeah, it so yeah. Far. Uh, we don't Big have thing dump. We don't have our large uh, cast iron skillet here today, but you can, we got a nice brown sear on it. But you're right, a cast iron skillet is perfect for this. This is two and a half pounds, and we put a little bit of oil in it, and we browned it on all sides. And we're going to just add this beef right into the slow cooker, and then we are going to take our. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more olive oil here. And then we're going to have, we're going to put our onions. We're going to brown the onions with the garlic. Okay, this gives it a lovely flavor. And then uh, you're going to let it sweat for about five to eight minutes, right, to let all the natural juices come out. Right, Jen? Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're going to cook that down. And of course, we don't have five or eight minutes to do that. So this is it when it's done. So we have this um, already brown. Now, where do we go from here? Do we start combining everything with the flour right now? Yeah, you just want to simply go ahead and combine all of the uh, the, the dry okay. ingredients, so the herbs and the spices, the flour, the cocoa. Oh, there's cocoa pull. in here. All right, so what we have basically here is some flour, some brown sugar, and then we have cumin and some salt, coriander. Some nice, yeah, yeah. Nice warm spices. They're, yes. They're kind of traditional and island dishes. Oh, I can smell it. And then there's chili powder, and then we have oregano, and now I see we put a little bit of cinnamon. Is that like a little bit of a Caribbean, Caribbean feel? <laughs> yeah. That's and then we have cocoa. Where does the cocoa come from? It's just That's another staple ingredient cacao. in that type of cooking. Oh, um, God. It just okay. kind of gives it, a, you know, just an oomph. That and the tomato, of course, all the spices combined. It so we're bringing in right brings. now for everybody, uh, we Jen, go. we're bringing in Ooh. some of the uh, the you. roast oh, right wow. now. Yeah. And we, we paired it with your Brussels sprouts. I'm putting I'm putting some fresh uh, orange peel in here. What's with the orange peel? Because it smells good. What is that mm. for? Well, you know, I'm a big fan, again, of um, just using citrus. I think it just really gives any dish a nice pop. I would also suggest maybe you can all, you know, you put the orange zest in the dish itself, but you could always oh, maybe do good. a little extra zest on top of each portion so for an extra pop. Okay, so Jen, what we're this is so tender. Mm. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness! I'm so excited. You oh. guys are eating my food. Wow. <laughs> we're gonna and enjoying it. Wow. We're putting the. On Did you taste the Brussels sprouts? Because they're yeah. dying to taste those. Oh my gosh! And the sweet good. potatoes and carrot thing is yeah. delicious. Really good. And then uh, I put the tomato sauce. I suppose that that's not like tomato sauce sauce. It's just tomatoes in a can, or is it? it it's, it's tomato sauce in a can. It's tomato sauce in a can. Okay. <laughs> so then what we're going to do, I, I put the onions and the garlic mixture in here. I poured that. I'm pouring that over the meat like this. And then. Yeah, slather. Slather. Slather, slather, slather and slathering. <laughs> and then you just put the lid on and set it for, for about six to eight. How long do you cook it? Because it says here six to eight hours. How long did you cook it well, for? Well, depending if, you're, if you have your slow cooker or your crock pot set on low or high is, is going to vary whether you're going to do six or eight hours. Oh, my gosh. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to remove this book so you everybody can see this. This is. Can we get an overhead shot of this, anyone or not? No? Okay. I'm going to just oh, take this, this out because what? Oh, there it is, overhead. Oh, that looks. Wow. Oh, oh, let me put this on this plate. 
Oh Y'all quiet goodness. down Look at there. That. Ooh. Oh, there better God. be some food Look going that. in it's some mouths. Quiet, right? Here, let me get a little bit. Let me get the knife. That looks unbelievable. Oh. That my mouth is what. Ooh, look at the knife mm. I got. So good. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh look, look how tender. Joyce. Oh, that's Joyce, so. It's Joyce. so Joyce. Look, it just and you can take oh. it. And look at that and do that. To it. Oh. I could eat that whole thing. You got it with a spoon. <laughs> I could. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna go in. I'm going in. What is the secret to the? Uh, is there a secret behind oh. the Brussels sprouts? Because these are delicious. I love mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People either, like you said, Mark, you love them. People either love them or hate them. Yeah. Um, I really like to slice them in half and be sure that you set them cut side down into the skillet and leave them be. And they'll get that nice caramelization and crust. And uh -huh. that, really, that really kind of aids to making a delicious Brussels sprout. And of course, everything's better with butter. Now, do you do you have because there, you get some families that within the family they don't like the Brussels sprouts. Some do. Does you do your whole family sit down and eat those? My seven-year-old loves them. Kind really? of the little girl right there, the little wow. flower girl. She actually. Oh, what she a beautiful cute. family! Aww. Look at that. Oh, Thank oh you. my gosh. <laughs> uh, do you do any substitutions for this? Can you use another meat or can you use fish with this? You any know, you could. You could, you could use whatever you prefer. Um, you know, you could take it in different directions. Maybe do like a mushroom medley with peas or maybe even, I'm a, I like doing butternut squash and green beans.